Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 3. Now there was a long, rather, now there was long war between the house of Shaul and the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Shaul waxed weaker and weaker. And unto David were sons born in Hebron. And his firstborn was Amnon of Ahinoam, the Yisraelite. And his second, Kilav of Avigail, the woman of Naval, the Carmeli. And the third, Av Shalom, the son of Ma'aka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. And the fourth, Adonai Yahu, the son of Shagi Eith, rather, Shagi Yith. And the fifth, Shephatai Yahu, the son of Avital. And the sixth, Yithyam by Egla. David's woman. These were born to David in Hebron. And it came to pass, while there was war between the house of Shaul and the house of David, that Avner made himself strong for the house of Shaul. And Shaul had a concubine whose name was Ritzpah, the daughter of Ea, and Aish Bosheth, said to Avner, Wherefore have you gone in unto my father's concubine? Then was Avner very, very wroth for the words of Aish Bosheth, and said, Am I a dog's head, which against Yahuda do show kindness this day unto the house of Shaul your father, to his brethren, and to his friends? and have not delivered you into the hand of David, that you charge me today with a fault concerning this woman? So do Elohim to Avner, and more also, except, as Yahuwah has sworn to David, even so I do to him. To translate the kingdom from the house of Shaul, and to set up at the throne of David, over Yashara'el, and over Yahuda, from Dan even to Be'er Shiva. And he could not answer Eth Avner a word again, because he feared him. And Avner sent messengers to El David on his behalf, saying, Whose is the land? Saying also, Cut your covenant with me, and behold, my hand shall be with you to bring about at all Yashara'el unto you. And he said, Well, I will cut a covenant with you, but one thing I require of you, that is, you shall not see eth my face, except you first bring eth Mikal, Shaul's daughter, when you come to see eth my face. And David sent messengers to Aish Bosheth, Shaul's son, saying, Deliver me, eth my woman, eth Michal, which I espoused to me for a hundred foreskin of the Palishtim. And Daish Bosheth sent and took her from her man, even from Palti El, the son of Laish. And her man went with her along weeping behind her to Bachur Rim. Then said Avner unto him, Go, return. And he returned. And Avner had communication with the elders of Yashara'el, saying, Ye sought for Eth David in times past to be king over you. Now then do it. For Yahuwah has spoken of El David, saying, by the hand of my servant David, I will save eth my people, Yashara'el, out of the hand of the Palishtim, and out of the hand of all their enemies. And Avner also spoke 
in the ears of Binyamin, and Avner went also to speak in the ears of David in Hevran, at all that seemed good to Yashar'el. And that seemed good to the whole house of Binyamin. So Avner came to El David, to Hevran, and twenty men with him. And David made Avner and the men that were with him a feast. And Avner said unto El David, I will arise and go, and will gather eth all Yashara'el unto my lord, the king, that they may cut a covenant with you, and that you may reign over all that your heart desires. And David sent eth Avner away, and he went in peace. And behold, the servants of David and Yoav came from pursuing a troop, and brought in a great spoil with them. But Avner was not with David in Hebron, for he had sent him away, and he was gone in peace. When Yoav and all the hosts that was with him were come, they told Yoav, saying, Avner, the son of Ner, came to the king, and he has sent him away, and he is gone in peace. Then Yoav came to the king and said, What have you done? Behold, Avner came unto you. Why is it that you have sent him away? And he is gone, and he is quite gone. You know, Eth Avner, the son of Ner, that he came to deceive you, and to know, Eth, your going out, and Eth, your coming in, and to know, Eth, all that you do. And when Yoav was come out of, out from David, he sent messengers after Avner, which brought him again from the well of Chira. But David knew it not. And when Avner was returned to Hebron, Yoav took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly, and smote him there under the fifth rib that he died for the blood of Asha'el, his brother. And afterward, when David heard it, he said, I and my kingdom are guiltless before Yahuwah forever from the blood of Avner, the son of Ner. Let it rest on the head of Yoav and on all his father's house, and let there not fail from the house of Yoav one that has an issue or that is a leper, or that leans on a staff, or that falls on the sword, or that lacks bread. So Yoav and Avishai, his brother, slew Avner, because he had slain their brother, Eth Asher El, at Givan in the battle. And David said to Yoav and to all the people that were with him, Rend your clothes and gird you with sackcloth and mourn before Avner. And King David himself followed the coffin. And they buried Eth Avner in Hebron, and the king lifted up Eth his voice and wept at the grave of Avner, and all the people wept. And the king lamented over Avner, and said, Died Avner as a fool dies? Your hands were not bound, nor your feet put into fetters. As a man falls before wicked men, so fell you. And all the people wept again over him. And when all the people came to cause Eth David to eat meat while it was yet day, David swore, saying, So do Elohim to me, and more also, if I taste bread, or aught else, till the sun be down. And all the people took notice of it, and it pleased them, and whatsoever the king did pleased all the people. For all the people and all Yashara'el understood that day, that it was not of the king to slay Eth Avner, 
the son of Ner. And the king said unto his servants, Know ye not that there is a prince and a great man fallen this day in Yasharael? And I am this day weak, though anointed king, and these men, the sons of Seriah, be too hard for me. Yahuwah shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness. <laughs>